Hey, what's good comic fans? This is Comfire Comics and we're bringing you a top three. This is our weekly video series where we bring you our personal top three picks of the week here on Comic Wednesday. So, I'm Comfire Rich. And I'm Comfire Nate. And we're going to stop start off right off with Copperhead number 10. Uh, Richie, what would you think? We, we've been liking this series for a while, man. What do you feel about this? I I liked it. I For whatever reason, when I first started reading it, it took me a minute to get back into it. Like, I was reading it, I was like, all right, this one's boring. It's, it's going to be boring compared to the other ones that we've read already. And then it was just, it, like, so many moments, I was like, dang. I the There was just a lot going on with it. I liked it. Um, I laughed out loud in a couple spots. They didn't waste any time. They got in, they got out. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it, it it took a while because I feel like there was maybe a little. There might have been a um, like a two month layoff from the last one. Um, I feel like yeah, maybe yeah. There was been. definitely a little gap there because it's been a while since uh, since nine came out. So it took a minute to kind of remember where everything was at. Um, but it uh, man, it was it was interesting. I, I you know I liked how they they got right in there. Um, you know they got the information at the bar and uh, you know uh, dude the sheriff chick is she's bad. You yes, know, she is. She is bad, and, and she's in there, and she grabs that dude. She walks in there, man, and has the gun right at him. I mean, it was just, it was very just classic western, just kick butt it, attitude. Yeah, know? it was. I, I, you, I mean, they, they really hit that western thing right on the head. I mean, just the fact the first thing they went, they went into a saloon. It's mm-hmm. where you get information. You walk in, what's going on? Bar fight, a bunch of villains. You know, they, they rough house some of them. They get some info. They dip out. Then what's the next thing they see? Is like a. A whole house. Yeah, a brothel. Some prostitutes up in there. Brothel, that's what I was trying to, a whole house. <laughs> <laughs> they went to a whole house. <laughs> yeah, they went to a brothel. That would be the appropriate term in a Western. So, you uh, know, and they, they jack this dude up and they go. Um, her deputy cracked me up because they was like, come on, hop to, get on your feet, let's go. And he was like, yeah, sure, let me um, get right up for you so I can rush off to my death. Like, I, that's yeah, the part I, I laughed out loud. Yeah, I laughed about that too. Yeah, I, I love Boo, man. Like, just his yeah. one-liners are just, it's fantastic. I, I love, you know, everything he, he cracks says. Me up. It just, he makes me laugh a lot. He's constantly joking. And the way they got his face, like, he's always, like, you know, yeah, not he, smiling he when he says right. it. He doesn't have yeah. a, uh, yeah, exactly. It, Very smart aleck, you know, dry sense of humor. But it's, it's great. But no, they, they walk this dude's brother in, and Nesto is a screw-up. He's the family screw-up, and his older brother's been getting him out of trouble since apparently they dad passed away, and he made him this promise. Mm. And finally, man, he's just like, all right, I'm tired of dealing with this. We're, we're going to go to jail. We're surrounded. They walked in, but they walked in shooting. You know, like, normally the cops are coming in, they're trying to take people. They wasn't taking anybody in today. Yeah, no, it was, they, they took out his his, uh, his little guy right there. You know, Boo took that other guy out, you know, and they basically like, hey, listen, he's like, well, you know, I told Dad I'd take care of you. And, I mean, he put a bullet in him, and they, yeah. they blew him away. <laughs> and, and it was funny because they were like, well, he told his dad. And he's like, well, he... He fulfilled his promise in a way, you know. It was kind of funny because, yeah. I mean, it fit, man. It was just like it felt like I was watching an old western movie. I mean, yep. the, the bad guy right there, the whole situation, and I, I loved it, you know. And then I almost, like I said, because it's been a little layoff, I forgot about this whole like situation going on with her husband in the background, yeah. you know, yeah. and the guy who's who's there to warn her. He's talking, you know, to Boo, and she's going to meet with the mayor, a mayor she still hasn't seen. You know, she hasn't seen him this entire series. That's Walks true. She in, hasn't. What's it in? Dude's on the ground dead. Uh, yep. Do you feel like her husband's there or something's up? Because I, I, I feel yeah, like I didn't even up. think about. I did think about her husband when that guy come to talk from the city. You know, I was like, okay, he's there about the husband or whatnot. And then when she walked in and saw the mayor dead. It didn't even dawn on me that it might be her husband there who had killed him. I was just like, dang, that's, that's jacked up. In with this dude dead like that. And it's he's got a reception? A receptionist out there? So I mean, it, there's somebody snuck in, handled business, and snuck out. I mean, uh, you know, it had to be a fresh. doesn't have to be the mayor. The mayor could have killed him. The mayor could be standing there like, oh, hey, I'm glad you came in. It has a dead guy on the floor. You know what I mean? There's oh. so many different ways it could go. Cause you, you yeah, that's true. Mayor. Yep. You don't know what's the deal with this mayor. There's obviously some kind of secretive thing because the mayor is never around. So you have that going on. Then you have the thought in your head, well, it could have been her husband. So I think they leave it at that to kind of make you think um, because this is kind of end of the story arc, um, moving on to the next story arc. 
Um, so, man, I'm, I'm yeah, excited. I true. love this series. It's a good series to read. I think yeah, it is. Would love it's it. a lot of fun. Um, next up is Doctor Strange. Doctor uh, Strange. <laughs> before this, never I've not really been introduced to Doctor Strange. Um, of course, I've heard of him. You know, Sorcerer Supreme. I've probably seen him on a cartoon somewhere pop up. Um, but ultimately, didn't know a lot about Doctor Strange other than the fact they just cast Benedict Cumberbatch to play him in the movies. So when I'm reading this, I thought they did a fantastic job with this being issue number one. As we know, they're doing the the kind of the, the reboot, reinstall of a lot of these Marvel characters, which I think is great because that allows new noobs like me to jump on and get involved in this world. Yeah. And I thought this comic did a fantastic job setting this character up. I really loved at the beginning when they kind of went over the history. I'm assuming those were really legit old comics. Yeah, they were. That they were over the top. I thought that was awesome. I was like, yo, this is like the original story, and he's kind of just doing a tell of his life. Yeah, it I was, was like a little I, montage. I liked it. Yeah. To give you like a little yeah. breakdown of uh, who Doctor Strange is. And yeah, that, it was, that was great. Better I enjoyed than us that. having to go through reliving everything again. I mean, when they do these reboots, you don't want to start from the beginning and tell the whole story from the beginning. They want to kind of go ahead and pick up, um, for especially for people who's been reading the comic for a long time or reading about this character. They don't want the exactly. origin stories again. Um, something that maybe the movies should figure out because I'm getting tired of origin stories in movies. <laughs> um, but they they did the same thing. You know, they kind of gave us a quick little, and I love the way they did it. The old comic pictures. And yes. then just kind of breaking it down again. Jason Aaron's writing this. Jason Aaron has is he's doing a lot of stuff right now. He's doing Southern Bastards. He's doing the new Star Wars comic. He's wit- written Wolverine. I mean, he's written a lot of stuff. And I like him. I like Jason Aaron. I think he's one of the best out there right now. So the fact that he's decided to do Doctor Strange, and then the the fact that they're dropping it now is probably a good thing because um, for the, when they decided to do a movie about Doctor Strange, a lot of people were probably like, Doctor Strange. Like, who's that? You know, why? why mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they felt like they're going, wow, they're really digging in deep to get some of these characters out. Um, you know, Dr. Strange has a, has a role to play in a lot of the Marvel comics, um, but he is definitely a, a lower uh, tertiary character. You know, he's not somebody you're going to be like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, Dr. Strange and Iron Man were teaming up. You know, you're not going to know who Dr. Strange is. So the fact that they came out with the comic now, knowing that the movie's coming, right. I mean, you might as well drop it right now because people are going to be like, well, I want to know what the deal with Doctor Strange is. Yep. And this comic does a great job. I love this comic. I was excited to read this comic. Uh, I can't say that I'm, you know, I know everything about Doctor Strange. So I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this and this and that and the other. Yeah. I know enough about it to know they did a good job. And I was excited to read it. And I think this is going to be a good series. I, I'm looking forward to these reboots of Marvel. I'm really hoping uh, uh, yeah, they got I- a lot of really great writers lined up. That's the thing. They li- They took... And they lined up a lot of great writers, and Jason Aaron's at the top, and he's writing Doctor Strange, and I think it's going to be good. Well, I feel like they did a perfect job appealing to, like you said, for the old fans who already know a lot about Doctor Strange and new fans. Like, this is like, okay, we've got our old character. He's set up. Now let's just move into what you got. You got to see his powers right off the rip. He's in a dream world. I guess it's that tri-dimensional whatever, whatever he was in that he where he fights his stuff at the nether worlds or something, but he's in there, he's fighting, he's doing his thing. And then it shows that he's in this boy's mind or soul yeah, like the to dreamscape. fight these people off. And you're like, Oh, that's cool. It shows his power shows what he does. And he goes outside and he sees the world differently. You know what I'm saying? Like the parasites that are on our body, he can see the parasites that's on your soul. And yeah. you know, he's got that vision. I thought it was cool how they had that third eye, which is, I guess is what the third eye is. What's seeing all this stuff that nobody else can see. Yeah, I mean, you could make comparisons to Doctor Strange is Marvel's Constantine minus the British or kind DC's of... DC's Constantine? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just saying, Doctor Strange <laughs> is Marvel's Constantine. That's what I'm saying. Right, like, right. Yeah, I got like, that exact same feel. Right, yeah. like he's... Almost identical is what it felt right. like. Right, it's very similar. I mean, you kind of get the vibe, though, that Doctor Strange cares more. Than Constantine. Constantine seems oh, to be out for, and I love the fact that he was like, "Yeah, I sent all those, uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 creatures to Rikers Island yeah. to feast soul on all the like eaters. the child, yeah, the soul eaters and all like the child herder or uh, you know pedophiles and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, you know, I love that. I mean, that kind of shows that he's, you know, that human side to him, like something that maybe Constantine lacks sometimes because Constantine's always kind of like out for <clears> himself. <throat> 
Um, but, yeah. but I liked it, man. I, I was excited to read this. I'm looking forward to reading more. <clears throat> yeah, it was good. Like I said, they had a little fight and ended up being a um, <clears throat> a foreshadowing of what's to come. He's yeah. seen a lot of weird stuff going on, and a- at the end there's another weird thing going on. Basically, something big's coming. Yeah. So that's exciting. Got the character set up, had a little fight, and introduced something in the works to keep us excited reading. So, man, it's Doctor Strange. Pick it up, read it. It was awesome. The last one we're going to hit on today is... Old Man Logan number five. Old Man Logan number five. Okay, so we've talked about this before. Battle World, the uh, Battle World, uh, <laughs> Secret Wars and Battle World and all this kind of stuff that they're doing is coming to an end and they're rebooting. Okay, this <clears throat> is the last in the five issue run of Old Man Lo- Lo- Logan before Old Man Logan starts anew. So okay. it in it, it, it was it was laying the groundwork to end this. And to start it new, being written by Jeff Lemire, another great writer who's coming out, which I'm excited about. Um, what did you think about this uh, ending? I was relieved <clears throat> and thankful because I was getting tired of the, the chaos mm. that was coming from the other ones. This tied it up nicely. <clears throat> other world, he's from the future of another world, and he kind of comes back to this world so now you get all your x-men back and it seems like this is this is the new world this is the new universe or whatever that logan's going to stay in he meets his son i guess a son of a wolverine so they made it sound like he's the son of a wolverine from another dimension mm. is that what you got from that that's what i was thinking yeah when I, was I mean it. that's kind of what i got it feels like they're gonna take here's all these dimensions and we're gonna crush them together into one dimension yep. and that's our new universe you know that's yep. i mean i haven't read secret wars because i i don't know i just it seems like something i don't have time to to get my mind right we gotta pick around. and choose but that's basically they're taking this world this world crushing it together starting over here we go now old man logan is in the world and the world is this giant you know back to normal for the most part um you, you yeah. have you know, and it was funny because I read an article that said that um, how the new Wolverine was going to start, which was Logan walking around butt naked in Times Square. This episode or this issue ended with Logan walking butt naked out to Times Square. So right. it's going to pick up right from there. Um, well, and what happens with him and figuring out, I, I mean, I'm sure I, I really don't know what they're going to do. I'll put it to you like that. I really don't know. I have some ideas. Um, but I like to to leave that intrigue there to hopefully uh, see what they're going to do. Well, let me ask you this. He woke up, like, that kind of confused me right there. Because right there at the end, he had his group, and he was like, it's like they shut the door, he's talking to his son, and and then and then he wakes up on the street, and those guys are like, I think I know who this is, and we need to leave, like, right now. I'm, I mean... I want to say either he was, that all took place in his mind, or okay, that all that, took place, and then he woke up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was either he was having this, all those things were talking when he was talking to Frost and all the other X-Men, like, that all actually took place, and then he woke up in this new mashed together world, or he dreamed all that and woke so up when in they, this mashed So when he got thrown out of the pit, when he got thrown out of the pit by the She-Hulk chick, and he landed in, in the city or whatever, isn't that where we ended on the last um, issue? Yeah. Okay, so he was knocked out, and then maybe maybe he's knocked out in the world that he's in now that he woke up naked in, except they come in and got into his mind and like kind of explained to him and for us, the readers, what's going on and set up the new world. That's that's what I'm going to say happened. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's what, that would make sense if that's what really, happened. That would make sense because I kind of got lost for a second. Yeah, it, this, this whole five issues has been kind of like, uh, you know, trying to kind of figure out what's going on. It's been all over the place, um, yeah. So it's, it's been good. all over. And I don't want to have to figure everything out all the time when I read. And I want a, a world established, characters established. This is our timeline. Or this is our future, present, past, whatever it is, and move forward from there. And it looks like they've tied all that up yeah. and put us where we are right now to move forward. When the first one comes out. And now I'm really excited for the next first issue of Old Man Logan. Right. But, guys, that's it. That's our Old Man Logan number five. um, Doctor Strange number one and Copperhead number ten. Hope you enjoyed reading them as much as we did. 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Are you excited for the, the new reboot of the Marvel series? Do you think they did a good job on Doctor Strange? Are we excited for Logan number one? I know I really am. And I hope you're enjoying that Western. Like we like to, we like to involve, you know, jump in some smaller comics that that's not the mainstream, like your all your Marvel stuff. And we're having a really good time with this uh, copyright. Also, there's going to be some other stuff on the website. Danae's going to write up some articles about some comics that we didn't review on here. And what was that? Iron Man and yeah, the Invincible uh, Iron Man number one. Batman and Robin and Eternal. We're going to talk about the Batman and Robin Eternal. Um, right came out today so we're gonna which is going to be a weekly articles. series for six months right that's right all right sounds good well people until next time we out see ya